All right, and this one is gonna come down to something that I should've done a long time ago that I didn't, and I needed to complete this. This is from Dr. Dave at REM Sleep Doc, and um, we've been chatting back and forth about his issue with Celsius, which got resolved, which was fantastic. But he asked me yesterday, he says, hey Rob, many of us may have missed this on your show, including me, so I tweeted, where do you buy Celsius if you're an American? And I go, you know what? I'm making that exact video. And the reason I made this video was because I wanted to put it in my new website, which should be ready by this weekend. It was supposed to be ready today, but I lost track of time and I just couldn't get some things done because I do other things. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to show you this video. This is going to show you how to use a MetaMask wallet or your Brave browser and connect it that way. Super simple. How to transfer Ethereum to that wallet and then how to buy celsius and also how to transfer when you buy it and put it in your brave wallet or your metamask wallet you can send it over to celsius and actually uh, earn some good yield so let's jump in and i'm going to show you exactly how it's done okay so welcome so this is one of those questions that i get uh quite a bit which is how can i buy the celsius token and uh it's uh kind of simple um really all we got to do is because we can't really find this on most any exchanges we're gonna have to use a decentralized exchange like Uniswap. And really, if you want to figure out exactly where to find uh, any kind of token or any kind of cryptocurrency digital asset, you can go to CoinGecko. That's CoinGecko, G-E-C-K-O dot com. And it's going to scroll down and find the one that you're looking for. And uh, for this specific situation, we're looking for the Celsius token. We're going to click on Celsius and we're going to scroll down. Today it's at uh, 176, not a bad uh, day. Hopefully as you watch this, you'll probably see it go up uh, to two, three, five, ten dollars who knows? And when we scroll down, we can see all the different exchanges that it's listed on. You can see uh, Liquid, Uniswap, and AAX. I don't know what Liquid or AAX is, so I'm not going to recommend them. However, I do know what Uniswap is, and I can tell you exactly how to do it, and it's exactly what I do, and I trust it. So on this on this channel, or on this channel, website, wherever you're watching it. Uh, I only give you the things that I trust and use. And these are the things that I do. So first thing we're going to need is something called the MetaMask wallet. And to make it super simple, I'm just going to recommend that you use Brave. If you don't use Brave browser, um, it's what I switched to about eight months ago or so, uh, because I used to use Google Chrome and it would crash. And there'd be different problems. Also, when I use Brave, it's much faster, it's much easier, uses less battery life. And here's the big thing. Uh, I can get paid for perusing the internets and the YouTubes and the Twitters and every place like that. Uh, I can get paid in basic attention token or BAT, uh, which is a cryptocurrency. So if you want to actually get paid for the things you do, why don't you just use uh, the Brave Rewards. And you can sign up for Brave. You can go right to Brave, uh, no big deal. But to make sure you're going to the correct site, so as we know, there's a lot of scammers out there. They want you to download different things. I'm going so if you're looking for this link, I'm gonna make it super simple. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's in, it's in the description. If you're watching this on Dan Teaches Crypto, the website, I will link that also underneath this video. Now, as we know, there are a lot of scammers and hackers out there and they want you to download malicious software. So to make sure you're going to the right place, I'll just leave a link for you. Okay, so as you can see, I'm actually using Brave. So the first thing we need to set up is the MetaMask wallet, or we can just connect it to Brave. And that's why I recommend that you download Brave itself. So what I'm going to do is over here on the top left-hand corner, thing called Brave. I'm going to click on Brave. Go to About Brave. And it's going to open up all my different settings and preferences and things like that. I want you to go to Crypto Wallets right here. And it's going to say, hey, you can attach a crypto wallet right to your browser. So it's super simple. This is exactly what I do when I'm going through the internet. It makes things a lot easier and just very simplified. So of course, I'm going to say, yes, I understand. They're going to download the component itself. So here's our option. We can connect our Nano Ledger. If you have something like that, it's very simple. You just connect and go through the steps. However, I want to do this um, a little simplified and we're going to create a new local wallet right here. So we're going to click Create. And let's create a password, uh, 12345 or whatever you want to do. So like we talked about in our section for Nano Ledger and how to uh, have that backup phrase, this is going to be your backup phrase for your MetaMask wallet or the wallet that is attached to this Brave browser on your local drive. So again, your cryptocurrency does not live anywhere. It does not live in your browser. It does not live on your Nano Ledger. Cryptocurrency digital assets exist on the blockchain in all those decentralized ledgers and nodes throughout the entire world. So these backup phrases, they only give you access if you lose something, if your computer crashes or whatever else, so you can actually spend things. 
If you haven't watched it, watched our series in the basics module or in the safety module, go check those out right now and it'll explain a lot more if you need to. So I'm going to click here to reveal the words and I'm going to write these down in my stone book. If you don't have a stone book, it's uh, pretty simple. It's uh, tear resistant, smudge resistant, water resistant, and it keeps all my passwords in. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And again, never reveal your secret words to anybody. They are secret for a reason. So I'm going to do that myself and I'm going to cut this out of the video. And now, of course, it's going to ask us to confirm your secret backup phrase because they know people like to just bypass these things and just kind of like glance all over it. So, of course, we're going to do this right now and we're going to put those in. And great. I can I pass the test. So that's pretty much all you got to do. And you're going to click on all done. So here's what it is. You'll, this is your wallet and it'll always start off with zero Ethereum and zero basic attention token. Again, you can earn basic attention token just by perusing the uh, internet. You can get to this screen just by clicking on a new tab and it'll take you right to it. So it's pretty easy to turn on rewards. So what we need to do is to put Ethereum into this wallet on our Brave browser. So when we go to Uniswap, we'll have something to swap for our Celsius token. So we're going to click on, there's two options here. We can buy it or send it. Well, we have nothing to send, so not, that's not going to work. And we're going to click on buy. And this one, you can't buy anything. It's going to tell you, look, you need to deposit Ether so you can interact with different parts of the web where you want to, you know, sell or use Ether to buy things. So sure, we're going to click on view account. So right here, this is our QR scanner. Now, if we have a phone app like uh, the Gemini Exchange or the Voyager app, we can directly scan this pretty easily and then send it over. Or if you don't have that, you can always just come over here, double click this. This is your Ethereum public address, not your private address. This is your public address. I can post this anywhere and people can send me Ethereum all day long. We all can always post our public address anywhere we want to. Just don't post your private address anywhere. So to deposit Ethereum into this address, I'm going to show you two ways. One is with Gemini, uh, which is going to be on my browser. The other way is going to be through Voyager, which is through uh, my phone app. So first things first, I'm going to open up uh, my account in Gemini. I'm going to click on my portfolio in the upper left hand corner here. I'm going to scroll down to where I find Ether or Ethereum. I'm going to click on trade. In the upper right hand corner, there's going to be three options. USD transfer account. I'm going to click on transfer. I'm going to withdraw from Gemini. So then this gets pretty basic. Uh, what's the currency? I'm going to click this down arrow here, a drop down box. I'm going to click on ETH or Ethereum, click continue. And it's going to say transfer to. This is the destination. So where do we want it to go? We go back to our wallets, click on the this is our Ethereum wallet address for the Brave browser or MetaMask. We're going to uh, copy that command C, control C or right click and then copy. Come back over here and we're going to paste it right in there. And don't worry if this isn't correct. Uh, if you miss a letter or something like that, like I'm going to take off the F. And you're going to see it says that's not the correct address. Now, the big thing here is that we want to make sure that if it is the right, if it is the right address or a correct Ethereum address, we'll make sure it's the right one. So I always do is I take a look at the last four. E4 EF, I'm going to take a look over here. What's the last four? I'm going to look at the last four. That doesn't show me there. I'm going to click out of here. And up here is the same thing. Uh, E4EF. Okay, that is correct. So I'm going to make sure that's right. E4EF. First one, 0x. Okay, great. Click continue. Enter the amount, whatever it is. So here I'm going to put in like 0.04, which really kind of sucks if you think about it. You're like, well, how much is 0.04? What I always do is I go here and type Ethereum to dollars. And it's always going to give us a converter for the current price. So one Ether is worth 439. Well, let's see. What have I got here? How about 0 0.04? 17 bucks. Sure. Okay, I'll go with that. Click continue. And here's the date. Date November 6. Amount 0 0.04 from the primary to this address, which is our address right here. And yes, that looks good. So we're going to request a withdrawal. And then they're going to send me an authorization code to my phone because I don't want hackers to get in there and steal all my uh, cryptocurrency, which is a pretty good deal. I'm going to put the number in, and it's only temporary, so I can let you see that. And then I'm going to click Submit. And there we go. You've transferred 0 0.04 ETH to blah, 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 blah. And then what we're going to do is go back to our wallet and wait for it right here. Now, while we're waiting for that, which it will go through, I want to show you the second option. So if I want to transfer Ethereum from my wallet, I want to use this nice little QR code, which I can find right here. For me, I'm going to use Voyager. And I'm going to jump into my phone real quick. I'm going to click on Voyager right here. And I'm going to go to my Ethereum account in Voyager. I'm going to click on Transfer. And I'm going to withdraw ETH. So what I want to do, let's check uh, the same amount. I want to take 0 
excuse me, 0 0.04. Up in the very top, it's uh, tap to paste Ethereum address, which I'm gonna do, but there's a little QR code icon right there. I'm gonna click on that. And then what do I do? Put it right next to my screen so it can absorb uh, the actual address. And then, oh, there it is. So very simple. I'm gonna slide to withdraw ETH. Sorry for that, it's gonna say to check my email to confirm the withdrawal. Again, another check just to make sure it's me. I've opened up my email and it's gonna say confirm withdrawal. Notice that it says 0 0.05 ETH. That's because there is a fee to withdraw on Voyager. Kind of a bummer, but you always have to pay the pipe a little bit. So we're gonna confirm that withdrawal and then success. We know it's success because here's our 0 0.08 ETH. So I got already in like two minutes time, I got 0 0.04 from Gemini and also 0 0.04 from Voyager. So. Pretty quick, actually. All right, so that's the tough part. Let's go to the easy part. Easy part is Uniswap. So how do I get to Uniswap? Well, first of all, I wanna make sure that you go to the right place. Underneath this video, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, it's in the description. If you're watching at Dan Teaches Crypto, it's right underneath this video. It's gonna take you to the Google spreadsheet. And I'm gonna look for Uniswap. So I'm just gonna scroll over to the right, Abra Uphold, Simple Swap, Uniswap, and here is the actual correct uh, link. Now, there's been people who have been posting to other links in different websites and it takes you to the wrong one and it steals your money. So just use this one. This is one that I use and it works. So I'm gonna click on here. And if this is your first time, because this is a new computer for me, it's gonna say connect to a wall. Let's click on that. We're gonna click on MetaMask. And it's gonna initialize. And here it is. So remember, our MetaMask wallet is essentially the one that's attached to Brave. And again, 0 0.08 ETH. Here's our account. We're going to click on Next. And it's going to allow this site to view the address of your permitted accounts, which is the one we just talked about. We're going to click Connect. And let's connect it. And bam, there we go. So now every time you come back, like I'm going to shut this down and come back. But every time you come back, it's going to view your wallet. And don't worry, it doesn't do anything. It can't send anything. It can't steal anything. You have to authorize these transactions. So real quick, I'm going to close this down and then open it up again just to show you that it'll always come back up. Let me go to the exchange. Let me click on that link one more time just to make sure. And there we are. Now, if, if for some reason you clear out the cookies or something like that, where you close this down and you uh, do a hard reset, you just have to do the same exact procedure, which is just connect my wallet, click on MetaMask, and bam, off you go. So we have 0 0.08 ETH to uh, play around with. What are we going to buy? Let's buy a little Celsius. And this is the easy part. So from Ethereum, which is our wallet, we're going to select a token. And what do we want? Well, we want Celsius. We can look for it. Or we can just type it in here, Celsius. And there it is, sell. So how much am I going to do? Let's go about the max. Instead of 0 0.08, let's do 0 0.06. I wanna make sure that I have enough for the fees. I'm gonna click on swap. So the price is 250 Celsius per one Ethereum. Minimum's about that. Um, yeah, sure. Liquidity provider fee is almost nothing. So confirm swap. Crypto wallet notification is gonna pop up. And here's the gas fees. And of course, right now it is super high, 477. That is a lot in gas fees. And the reason for that is, of course, everybody's using Ethereum, everything is doing transaction because Ethereum 2.0 uh, was just announced today or yesterday. So people are putting everything in, in their Ethereum contract. And this is the problem with Ethereum. So if it gets like this, usually the gas fees are like 10 cents, 16 cents, 28 cents. Right now it's ridiculous. However, I wanna get done with this video. So I'm gonna click confirm and off it goes. So this is real interesting. So you can close it and that's fine. Or if you want to take a look at what's going on behind the scenes, this is the great thing about transparency. You can view everything on Etherscan. Now, unlike your bank account, you need to log into your bank account and it's attached to your name and everything else is through there. So you are just uh, privy to that. But for the blockchain, anybody can see anything in all different types of transactions. But here's the rub. They can only see wallet addresses. So they don't know who 0x47b blah, 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 blah is unless you tell them who it is, but you can see everything and where it all flows from. So here's the hash address. It looks like it was already successful. That's pretty fantastic. This is from 0x47 or E4EF, which is our account right here, E4EF. And we got 0 0.06 Ether or $26. Here was the fee, ridiculous, 360. And after a minute or so, we come back here and here is our Celsius, all nice and fresh into our wallet. Now, what I usually do is I send this Celsius to my Celsius wallet. 
Before I get into that, I'm gonna tell you why I transferred over to Celsius. And the reason is because with Celsius, I can earn on my cryptocurrency and digital assets. So uh, you can earn up to 21% annually. Uh, try doing that in any bank. So like some like an example, Tether is 13%, Bitcoin that you just parked there is 6% and 7% for Ethereum. And as I scroll down, I just wanna show you real quick, and this is from Celsius.network, you can check it out. Uh, you can see all the different um, prices for all the different cryptocurrencies. So uh, APY, 7% for Ethereum, Synthetics, 20, wow, 21%, 21% for Matic, Tether is 13, and then on and on and on. So that's why I transferred over. I think Celsius, they, they get like between five and 6%, so it's not a great amount, but it's better than nothing, just sitting around doing absolutely Zippo. But th uh, the way I do this is I go, I open up my Celsius wallet, and I click on Celsius, and I click on, little C in the bottom right hand corner here. I click on transfer and it's gonna tell me, only transfer, same coin type as selected, continue. I understand. I'm gonna choose a coin, make sure it's Celsius. I understand. There's two options, the, the QR code or the actual address. So I'm gonna, on my screen, I'm gonna click on send Celsius. So it's gonna ask for the public address. I'm gonna make this very simple. I'm gonna copy on my phone because I have my iPhone. Here's my iMac, which is uh, always uh, pretty simple. I'm just gonna paste it right there. And there it is. I'm gonna click the slow option. Actually, now I'm just gonna click, click average dollar. Again, uh, the fees are greatly uh, inflated right now because of what's going on with the Ethereum network. Let's send over, I'm gonna send over 10 Celsius. Click next and I'm gonna confirm. And then it should be in the uh, wallet momentarily. So again, that's how you uh, buy Celsius. That's how you transfer Celsius and everything else. All right, so that's it. So uh, give me a couple couple more days or so just to iron out the wrinkles for the website and I'll put it all up there. But again, it's gonna be super easy. I boil everything down. It's easy to make things complex, but it's really hard to simplify things. But before we take off, I just wanna give a shout out to everybody who has signed up for Digital Asset News for the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. So random shout outs, Michael Donath, Ron Drake, Eric Mitko, Ignacio Meya, David, 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 Frankster, <laughs> Frankster, Tom Cochran, Dubnet, who else? Kelly Church, TTP 911, Donald Francisco, and Iran Rodriguez. So thanks everybody, I really appreciate it. If you like those types of videos, there's gonna be two more that's gonna pop up on your left and right. I'll let YouTube do its magic. And that is it for today. So uh, quite the week we had. I'll be glad when it's over, and uh, I hope you have a great weekend. So thanks so much. See you on the next one. Bop, bop.